is marvelous, is wonderful. Heavenly Father, we thank you, King of Glory. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you. We lift your name. Yes, so Lord, thank you, Father. We thank you, we thank you for your goodness, for your lovely kindness, so Lord. We say, thank you for all that. We thank you, thank you, thank you for all you have been doing in for us. We thank you for what He's doing, doing in our lives, Almighty God. We say thank you, Lord, Almighty God, everlasting Savior, everlasting Redeemer. We say thank you, Father. We bless your holy name, so to your name, Father. Wonderful Savior, wonderful Redeemer. 
the beginning and Father God, we say Father, thank you, Lord. We worship you for who you are, Father. We worship you. We worship you, Almighty God. We worship you in the name of Jesus. We worship you, Father. We worship you, Lord. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Oh Lord, my Father. Oh Lord, my Father. Oh Lord, my God. We bless you, Let your name be glorified. Let your name be exalted. There is no one like you, my God. We thank you. Thank you, Lord. 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 Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. 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 We give you all the honor. You are worthy. You are worthy to be praised. Father, we thank you, Father. You are worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, excellent. Thank you, King of the Lord. We thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let us go before the throne of mercy to humble ourselves. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 1, verse 8, it says, If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. The truth is not in us. Let us go before the throne of mercy because they say, If you confess our sin, it's faithful to forgive us our sin and to cleanse us from all our righteousness. Let us go before the throne of mercy. Father, Lord, oh, Lord, my heavenly Father, in any way that sin against you, I beg for your mercy, Father. Show me mercy, Father. By my thinking, by my doing, I repent to you, Father. Show me mercy, Lord. Oh, Father, I ask for your mercy. Wash me, Lord. Please me pure. Me your precious Lord in any Father, my Lord, my natural me mercy in any way. Father, we ask for your mercy, Lord. We ask for say, I repent to Lord, please, and dear mighty God, don't turn your, your back on me, Father. Don't cast me away from your presence, oh Lord, Father. Break me and remove me to your tears, oh Lord Jesus. I pray for your mercy, wash me, Lord, please, me, Lord, purify me, your precious Lord. In the name of Jesus, please, and dear mercy, Father. Oh, mercy, Father, show me mercy. Lord, oh Lord, mercy, Father, mercy, King of glory, mercy, Lord, oh Lord, mercy, show us mercy in the name of Jesus, Christ, my Father, we need your mercy, we need your mercy, Lord, Father, show us mercy in the name of Jesus, Christ, my Father, Father, have mercy upon my husband, my children, Lord, Father, have mercy upon us in the name of Jesus, Christ, my Father, my Lord, please, that this show us mercy, Father, oh Lord, show us mercy, Father, show us mercy in the name of Jesus, Christ, we are asking for your mercy, who wash your soul, cleanse your soul, purify us in your precious blood, Father. Father, please, I wish you mercy, Father, show us mercy. Oh, Lord, my Father, show us mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we are pleading for your mercy, we are pleading for your mercy, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Let Amen. us pray the blood of Jesus to cleanse us from every filthiness of the flesh and the spirit, to cleanse our garment of salvation and robe of righteousness in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. And I will plead the blood of Jesus. Father, Jesus. 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 Jesus
we depend on you. We cannot do without you. Holy Spirit of God, please help us, O Lord. Holy Spirit of God, we continue on our way in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us put on the arm of God to help us to be able to stand against every words of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we cover ourselves with the whole arm of God. My Father, in the name of Jesus, my Father, we put on the whole arm of God in the name of Jesus, my Father. We cover, we put on the whole arm of God. We put Jesus, we cover ourselves right now with the whole arm of God. As we in this zoom right now, the last women, we cover the last women with the whole arm of God. We cover our children and family. We cover our children and family, oh Lord. Every member of this ministry, we cover them with the whole arm of God, Father. In the name of Jesus, we cover them with the whole arm of God. In the name of Jesus, we cover them with the whole arm of God. In the name of Jesus, we cover them with the whole arm of God. In the name of Jesus, we cover them with the whole arm of God. In the name of Jesus, we cover them with the whole arm of God. In the name of Jesus, we cover them with the whole arm of God. In the name of Jesus, we cover them with the whole arm of God. In the name of Jesus, we cover them with the whole arm of God. In the name of Jesus, we cover them with the whole arm of God. In the name of Jesus, we cover them with the whole arm of God. In the name of Jesus, we cover them with the whole arm of God. In the name of we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us go. The Bible says they shall surely gather together. Let us pray that whatever they are gathering, planning evil against us, may the power of God silence them, disappoint them in the name of Jesus. Let them fall for our sake in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, because soon as I told you, Father, whatever they are gathering, hey, Lord, and Father, wherever they are gathering, we gather right now, Jesus, so as they gather, Father, they gather, Father they let them scatter in the name of Jesus, Christ, my Father. And I go scatter them in the name of Jesus, Christ, my Father. And I scatter them in the name of Jesus, my Father, my Lord. And I frustrate them for parts of the Satan, the Jen and Demons, oh Lord. And the name of Father, wherever they gather right now, Jesus, O Lord, Almighty God, any any spares, any temptation, they are given to Father, and I frustrate them, frustrate them, plant them in your Father God's scattered, and I send your thunder fire to locate them and scatter them and roots and to achieve them, O Lord, O Lord, my God, scatter them, plant them in your Father, and I will frustrate them by your power, your authority that you give to us. We frustrate them, we frustrate them, plant them in your Father, we pray their Bibles in your Father, we plant them. We paralyze them in the name of Jesus, by my Father, and I let them fall and scatter for us, taking them to scatter them, Father. Oh Lord, my Father, scatter them, frustrate them, O Lord, destroy them, destroy their plants, in order their plants, they are not standing, that shall they come to pass. In the name of Jesus, by my Father, and I let destroy them, destroy their plants, in the name of Jesus, and I go destroy them, in the name of Jesus, by my Father, and I might go frustrate them, O Lord, Father, frustrate them. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord, my Savior, my Redeemer, O Lord, of my Savior, Father, for sure, in Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. We are going to commit our Bible study. Everything that you are going to learn, all the Bible verse, we are going to ask God to give us knowledge and understanding to His Word in the mighty name of Jesus. Also, to to use a servant mind and to anoint a man that every word that you bring to make us understand it the way God wants us to understand it in the name of Jesus. Let us pray, Father Lord, we commit. Oh, my heavenly Father, commit our commit your servant unto your heart, Father, for your fresh anointing upon your servant, to Lord Father. Let your fire, let your fire and the Holy Ghost fire. Free. Committed to anoint your servant man with your women, I have voice and I live so mighty God for your glory and I use her for your glory, Lord Father. Let us go and use your servant, Father. I know nothing, nothing, oh Lord, my Father, I want to represent the Lord in your word, Almighty God, speak to your soul, my God, in the name of Jesus. Almighty God, Father, help us, oh Lord, 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 Father, help us, oh King of glory, Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, Father, for this wonderful moment, Lord Father, that you give us, Lord Father, to stand at your feet, Lord Father, to hear the word that you have for us. Father, we thank you for this your great opportunity to be among the living, oh Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord Father, for the word that you are going to hear in advance, as your word said that man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Father, as you are going to hear the word that you have for us, oh Lord. Father, let us not be the hearer only, but also be the doer of it. Father, let the word of today, Father, to bring transformation in our life. To change us, O Lord, Father, in the way, O Lord, Father, to stand in your will, O Lord, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let the word of God, O Lord, Father, to be the light that is going to shine our way, going to make us to in the right path, O Lord, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Father, give us the grace of the Father to obey your commandment, to keep the word of the Father, to meditate it day and night, to, to observe it, Holy Father, and to do according to all that is written there, according to what the Holy Spirit is bringing our remembrance in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we commit those that are going to come across this video. Father, open their spiritual ears to understand what you have for them. And this is what you have for them, Lord Father, to find a solid ground in their heart, to bring also the fruit of holiness and righteousness, the full fruit of transformation, the fruit of the Spirit in them, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We cover this message, the blood of Jesus. We commit this wonderful moment into the Holy Spirit to come and take over, to come and lead us in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I welcome Amen. the servant of God, the middle host of the program today, Evangelist Fisher, over to you. Praise Master Jesus. May the Lord bless you, man. We thank God for God. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God. We thank God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So, I would like to have a word of prayer. Praise Master Jesus. Shall we pray? Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of glory, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be worshipped. You are worthy to be adored. You are worthy to be magnified. And I'm mighty God, I thank you for this moment, for this hour, Father, for your gathering love right now. At your presence, Almighty God, to hear from Almighty God. You said, according to your word, man shall not live by bread, by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out, proceed out of your mouth, Almighty God. And I speak to each and every heart, Almighty God. Father, teach us your word, Almighty God. And as we are hearing your word, give us the grace to remember it, O Lord, and put it in practice in Jesus' name. And I teach us, O Lord, Father, every power that want to stop us, that want to deprive us, that want to, to steal from us, for us not to be able to concentrate, for us not to get what you are trying. What you what you want us to learn it from your word, Almighty God, and I come down by your from by yourself and find those powers for us in Jesus' name. And I send your angels to bring your sons and daughters that you want them to listen right now. Bring them online, Father, in the name of Jesus. And teach each and every one of us, O oh Lord. And I'm gonna thank you and bless your name, Father. Please, the blood of just kind this Bible study right now and the last stream in, and the last stream in, right now in the name of Jesus. Christ. Thank you. But I come and have your way, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. I have prayed. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. May the Lord bless you all. In Jesus' name, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good. Mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. We thank God for God. So uh, our Bible study, you know, last, last two weeks, we studied in uh, uh, Rome, uh, Romans 14. So Romans 15, by the grace of God, we are going to start Romans uh, uh, 15, by the grace of God. Let us see the, you know, I thank God for, for the word of God. I thank God for Apostle Paul. No, he, he traveled, oh, there, there's a book of Romans, what he did, where he went, you know, how he went, what he taught us in, his, in the word of God for you and I to be sober, for you and I to live a righteous life, for you and I not to judge, for you and I to help each other, to love each other. No, I just thank God for the book of Romans. It's really, really a book that, that uh, really bringing you and I to, to understand the word of God, to understand that for us, for you and I to draw closer to, to God, or you and I to live a life, no sin, you know, in this the uh, in this the uh, book of uh, Romans as well, he said that we should not sin. He said that he said that uh, we must uh, not and uh, live in the in the life of sin. You know, don't sinful life. It doesn't. It all, we should not let the sin have dominion over us. And we thank God for the for the word of God. We thank God for this. Uh, well, and uh, you know, in this one, in book of Romans, it's, it's, it's told us uh, about the just Abraham justification by faith. We thank God for God Abraham uh, justification by faith. We thank God for 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 using Apostle Paul by the help of the Holy Spirit to to open our eyes. You know. So to open our eyes, so open our eyes that uh, if we, you and I, we, we sin, we, if we and I, we sin, we, sh we are short of the glory of God. And Father God doesn't want you and I to, to short of his glory. And I, Father God wants you and I 
for his glory to be shining upon you, for his glory to be upon you, for his glory to be upon you, upon me. But the sin is the one that will make the glory of God, that would make us to be short of the glory of God. So I thank God for the for Apostle Paul for, 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 for teaching us by the help of the Holy Spirit, what the Holy Spirit gave him the grace for, for us to, to, to as, a, as children of God, for us to maintain our sanctification is uh, sanctification we talk about the sanctification talks about the faith the faith and the for you and I not to to reject sin for you and I not to let uh, sin uh, have dominion over us for you and I to not to be condemned by sins we, th we thank God for 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 the word of God we thank God for this book of Romans uh, so please uh, so you know we thank God here in the, the book of Romans it talks about uh, the grace the grace and the grace you know it's not the it's not the counterfeit grace so the genuine grace of god the genuine grace of god in uh, uh, the book of romans we still study about the the faith and the justification or just and and then um, abraham uh, justified uh, by faith you know you know the the book of um james said and uh, and the, the um, apostle apostle james uh, says uh, that uh, show me uh, show me your 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 faith with our words i will show you my faith with words no faith with our words is is dead so we have faith in jesus we have faith in our god we 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 accept jesus christ by faith and our faith, we must put it in, in action our faith we must put it in action not just say i have faith but and you know, as Apostle Paul, Apostle James uh, explained it very deep, so you, you and I can know this is the faith, and the, the faith is the faith is a gift. Faith is a gift from God to you and I. You cannot get it just like this. You you cannot you you cannot end, you cannot get the faith just you. Uh, I work for it to get the faith. No, it's a gift. Is a gift God gave to you, God gave to me for you and I to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord, our Savior. Is a gift by the Almighty God for you, to you, and uh, to 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 us, um, to us. Uh, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. No, oh, it still talks about the the, the dead of uh, the what's it called, the sin and the, the dead of uh, Adam. You no, know, the Adam sin, Adam sin is uh, physical and uh, spiritual. Spiritually, he was dead. Well, I thank God for 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 the second uh, the second man that came. The first man was Adam. So Adam sin, Adam was spiritually dead. We thank God for Jesus. He's the second man, the Son of God that came. Jesus in the righteousness and the life by Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came and rescued you and I from that death, from that separation that uh, that uh, you and I we could have be separate from Almighty God because of because of what Adam did. I thank God that Lord Jesus Christ loves you and I so much that He came to to pay the price for you and I reconcile you and reconcile you and I to to Father God. You see, is that is why you and I we must be grateful to Almighty. We must be grateful to Father Lord Jesus. He is the one that did all for you and I. That now you and I, we can call upon our Father, our our God. We can call upon Him, um, Abba and the Father. And they being the Lord Jesus Christ didn't pay that price for us. The blood of Jesus Christ was not shared for you and I. So we could are not able to call upon Father God, Abba. We could are not able to call Him, Abba. Father is is our lovely Jesus that paid the price for you and I to able to to call him Abba and Father and the you know the the law you know it us about the law it us about 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 the law in verse seven in verse seven talks about the 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 the, the law so is the law cannot save you the law cannot save me. Is Jesus by you and I putting our faith in Jesus is the one that saves us. But our faith, we, we, we are saved by grace, by the faith of we are the, the faith we in, in Christ. In Christ is the one that saves us. It's not by our works. It's not by our words that makes you and I to be saved. No, it's God Almighty that gifted you and I. It's by the grace of God. 
So nothing you and I can boast to say because I was too good, because I did it, because I did it, that made God to, 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 to accept me as I am. No, it's because of his son, Lord Jesus Christ, that paid the price for you and I. That makes him, when he sees you, see me, he sees Lord Jesus Christ in us. He sees the blood of Jesus Christ that covers uh, cover you and I. So the, 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 the law, the law is to is to show you and is the law that shows you and I where we are where would you would you and I we you know this is sin. The law is the one that that if the law is not there, you and I will not know covetousness is a sin. It's the law that now showing you this is sin. This is telling you you do this. This is wrong. This is wrong. This is what Father goes. You know, is the one. It's like a mirror. You look yourself in the mirror. As you look yourself in the mirror, you are not using that mirror. When you see that dirty on your face, you are not using that mirror to wash your face. So what are you doing? As you see where you, the dirt in that your face, when you use your mirror to look at your face, you, are, you will go and take a soap and water. You will use it to wash that place. You will use it to wash your face. But the mirror shows you, and the mirror shows you are not, where the where the state where the dead is, so it's not the mirror that we wash it. It's not the mirror you will use to wash it. Is the is the, the water and the and the soap you will use to wash your face when you see that your face is dirty. As you watch, you will look at it in the mirror. That is same like a law. The law is showing you what is wrong. The law is telling you and I what is wrong, what is good, what is not, what you and I should do, what is pleasing to Father God, what is not pleasing to Father God. So it's not the law that saved you. It's not the law that saved me. I thank God for the law. The law is the one that help you and I, helping you and I to know I must stay away from this thing. I must do this thing that we please Father God. I must not do this thing that would displease Father God. We thank God for, for the Lord of God. We thank God for the law of God. It's not the one that saved you. It's the grace of God. It's the blood of Jesus Christ. It's you and I must believe it's a gift. It's Lord Jesus, Father God, uh, he has gifted us his son that through his son, you and I, be saved. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank God for the law. It's not the law that saves us. It's Jesus Christ. It's Jesus Christ that saves us. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. You know, in verse 8, in, the, in, in, in verse 8, who is free from a, a condemnation? And so you, you are not in verse 8 talking about the flesh the flesh so you and i must not allow the flesh to have upper hand in our lives so you and i must crucify the flesh every day that is why lord jesus christ says to you and i in the word of god that you and i must deny ourselves we must deny ourselves for you to, to take up your cross daily, follow Father Lord Jesus. We must deny ourselves because the flesh doesn't want you and I. It doesn't want anything good for you and I. The flesh wants you and I to rebel against our Father, Almighty God. He wants you to rebel against God. You know, the enemy of your, of your soul, the enemy of my soul, what happened to, to him? Why he was cast out from the heaven, from heaven? He was the first archangel Satan. He was cast, he cast out from the heaven because of the rebellion. He rebelled against God. The same thing that the flesh is trying to do every day for you and I to rebel against, to rebel against Father God. So that is why you and I must deny that, that flesh. We must keep that flesh. We must bring that fe flesh, fre flesh down. Tell that flesh, no, you will not take me to hellfire. I'm not going, I'm not going to hellfire with, with you. I'm not going, you, you are not anyway. The flesh will be here. Praise Master Jesus. So with, we thank God, we thank God, the, we thank God for the Holy Spirit, you know. You and I, we are is the, the the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit war again the the flesh and the, the spirit and the and the, the flesh. They you know, they war. They're contrary to you. No, know, fight. You know, it's like no, 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 no rest. 
So the flesh wants to pull you down. The Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God wants you to come up. The Holy Spirit of God wants me to come up. The Holy Spirit of God wants you and I to obey God. Because in uh, you and I, when we obey God, we will receive from God. The promises that he promised you, when we, we obey him, that promises you and I will, will receive it. But the flesh tried to make you and I to disobey Father God. So, so that flesh must die. We must put the flesh to death in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit, you know, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we help you and I to do that in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank God for God. We bless his soul in his worthy, his worthy, his worthy. We thank God. We thank God for, for lovely Jesus. You know, we thank God for lovely Jesus and like that. That choose, uh, that choose the Apostle Paul for the Gentile to go and open our eyes in the Gentile's eye, and in the Gentile eyes to, to know the truth to, 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 or the good news for them. Could, because of Apostle Paul, God used him to, to declare the good news for, for you and I, open the word of the Lord. We thank God for Jesus. He chose him because of you and I. We thank God for Apostle Paul, all what he went through. We thank God for his, his life. Hallelujah to the, to the Lamb of God, to open the blind, to open the blind, to open the, the Gentiles, to make the Gentiles to see the truth. The remnant of uh, even the, to say the, the remnant of, uh, of, uh, of uh, Israel saved by grace. No, saved by grace. We thank God for the grace of God. We thank God for the grace of God and the Holy Father God it wants you and I. So in the book of Romans, it says to, to us about holiness. Holiness. Without holiness, you and I, we cannot see the Lord. And you know, many of us we 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 we, we know about holiness. We know that this scripture is is is, is real. What Father God says it, but we are not following. I don't really understand. When you ask for some people, you see them. You see them, you, uh, you know, I cannot judge. We cannot judge as a, as a, as a woman. It's God that we judge. But when you see the disobedient, we say, no, the word of the Lord in the Father Lord Jesus can say, you will know them by their fruits. But you will see them, you see them, you, saw, you see their fruit already. But when you are asking them that, uh, do you know that without holiness, no man shall see the Lord? I say, yes, I know. I know. Quite all right, I know. Without holiness, no, no man can see the Lord. And they, 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 they will quote it very well for you. But uh, you just look at their conduct, you look at their, 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 how, you know, half naked, disobedient to, to, to the word of God. But they know that without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. So why we, that cause ourselves Christian, we know that without holiness, no man shall see the Lord, but we don't obey it. Is to, to, to know that you, without holiness, you and I, no man shall see the Lord. It will not help you and I, we must put it in practice. So if we don't put it in practice, just to say it, just to know it, it will not help you and I. And that day when you that person closing that the eye in there, there's exactly that word that you quote that uh, without holiness, no man shall say that. You will say that person will find himself is separated from God. He knows the word that without holiness, no man shall say that, but he didn't obey that word. And when he closed his eye or her, she closed her eye in, 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 in dead and find himself in separation from God. And that is not what Father God wants for you and I. He wants you and I to live a holy life because your body, my body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. That is why you and I, we should not say, I'm the one that holds my body. No, Jesus paid, paid for you. He paid for, he paid for us. He bought our body. He bought us. So he's the one that holds us. The word of the Lord said, you and I, we should glorify our, we should glorify our God with our body. What we are putting on our body or bleaching our skin, putting all those Jezebel properties. Your body belongs to God. You know, the word of the Lord says, your, your, the, 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 even your hair, the, the, the strand of your hair, Father God, count them. He knows there are many 
strand in you and there are strands of your hair. You know how, the, how many is in there. Now you will carry Jezebel property. You put it there, your glory. You know, I'm talking, I'm talking to my sisters out there. All my sisters out there, may the Lord bless you all. Your glory, Father God said that your glory, your hair, that is your glory. He, he know, but every, every one of them is counted. He knows every one of them. Any strand of hair that fell off, Father God knows it. So now when you go now, you said this, thing, this your hair is not beautiful enough. This your hair is not good enough. Then you will go and go and borrow from a, a Jezebel. You think Jezebel is, has the better hair than yours? Your does his glory. The Jezebel's own is coarse. Is a, she is coarse. Then you will go and get, get the Jezebel property, that, that, that attachment that we own, that wig. You put it, you cover your glory with coarse. You cover your glory with, a, with, 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 with things that is not pleasing to Father God. And when somebody asks you, do you know about holiness? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, without holiness, no, but no, no man can she see the Lord. And you see where the property of Jezebel. And you knew that without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. So when do you think if you pass on with those uh, Jezebel property, where the, uh, pro pro properties, where do you think you will find yourself? Where do that, where do you think I will find myself? So please uh, wait, let us check ourselves. And if you still see yourself, you are still uh, struggling with the Jeze to give up Jezebel property, cry unto God. I thank God for the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit and the flesh they fight every day. They fight, fight. And then they are contrary to each other. That is why I say walk in the spirit so that you will not fulfill the, the loss of the flesh. So you cry to the Holy Spirit to help you to deliver you from those Jezebel property, that makeup, that lipstick you're using to you know lipstick. If God gave you an eye, beautiful lips, the color that fits you and I. So Jezebel lied to you so much, Satan lied to you so much, the agent of Satan lied to you so much that now you believe the lies. That the, 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 the lips, Father God bless you with the color gave to you is not good enough. Now you have to create your own you know, that is good enough for you. And when Father God look at you, he, he, he just, he doesn't know what to say. Because he created you, Finny, look at you, he said, very good. Now you are making yourself now ugly in his sight by you putting the property of Jezebel. And in the in the physical realm, you would think, oh, is you look you look you look beautiful. No, in spiritual realm, that person is look ugly, it's like a demon. When you put on makeup on your face, lipstick on your on your on your on your what's it, on your lips, all this uh, mascara, what you call it, the uh, uh, what is it called, uh, the uh, 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 fake and uh, false nails, false uh, eyelashes. You look at, in the spiritual realm, you are just like demon. You are just like demons. But in physical realm, the enemy will be lying to you. You lose beautiful. No, you don't. You are not. You are not. Please. Wash those sin out of your face. Your face, leave your face and let your face be bring glory to you. Your Father God created, created you, finished, said, he look at yourself, you are very good. You are good. Please don't be don't be going down there, packing Jezebel property on your body or bleaching your skin. You know, you don't, you said you don't like the skin God gave to you. Now you start, you went, you know, you know, it's not only women doing those these things. The men that, that, that is might of God, the man, men are the might of God, the glory of God. Men are the glory of God. You see men, some men, even some men, they call themselves, they are preachers, they are pastors, they are ministers of God, bleaching their skin. Bleaching, what did they, what, 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 what are they represented to, to, what are they represent, what is their, what are they representing? Is it Jesus they are representing? Or they are representing uh, demons? And their, their congregation now, they will start imitating them. Their congregation now start following them. What is not pleasing to Father God? God Father God, create you, finish. He said, you and I, we should, we should, not, we should, not, no, we should not bow down to other, other gods. Other gods. Idols. 
So you made that one idol. You must bleach your skin. If you don't, before the month will be over, you don't have money to buy cream to support you to continue bleaching your skin. And so that uh, people will not see how ugly that skin, you turn that skin that was beautiful before, you turn that skin to ugly when you stop. If you said it's, it's, not, it's not true what I'm saying right now, stop bleaching cream. You will see how your skin, how you damage your skin. Your skin is so damaged. Your skin that is so beautiful before you went uh, right now. You took uh, the what is it called? Those those, those chemicals that that came from hair fire, came from hair. You use that chemical to dis destroy your skin. And when the, somebody is telling you about the the bleaching, it's not good for you. You don't want to hear. You better not eat. You better not eat before the ending of the month. You better strive and the hunger, hunger, hungry. Uh, was a hunger strike for you to have money to go and buy British cream to bleach your skin, and you know that it is not pleasing to Father God. It's not pleasing to Father God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Father God, create you and I finish. You look at you and I finish it very good. Very good. Look, you leave your skin. If you are thinking that uh, because uh, people knows you that uh, you that is black and people knows you that you are yellow. You look like, like white people, the Caucasian people. Please let them still see that is you are not a Caucasian. You are black. You have a chocolate, chocolate color. That is what Father God bless you with. Leave it, let that color come. Even though it looks ugly at the, at the, at the very time it will stop that bleaching skin, it will take a little bit of time. It will run. Father God will heal it for you. Father God will heal it for you. Bring that your skin back, back again to the normal color. The first time you be, you might be hiding your face for people that knows you thought you are a Caucasian person, whereas you are not Caucasian. You are your your color is chocolate or no dark color. So let them see, you know. Please, Jesus loves us. How your body and my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Is the temple of the Holy Ghost. We thank God. You know, we still talk about love. Love. In the book of Romans that we study for this, I don't know how many weeks, many months we'll be studying right now. Talks about love lo and about love for you and I to love each other. Not say that I love my brother, I love my sister, but I'm by biting, by, by biting at his back, at his back. And I'm stabbing him at his back. That is not love. That is not love. Love goes extra mile to be a blessing. Love, love, you know, in the book of uh, in the first, uh, first Corinthians, love cover, love bears everything. Love hope for everything. Love has patience. Love doesn't puff and puff up. Love doesn't uh, the, the show himself uh, proud. Love. You no know, covers many things. You know, say love, faith, and the, and the hope. The greater, the greater of those three is love. The greater of those three, the hope, the faith, the love. Love is the greatest. That is what Apostle Paul says by the help of the Holy Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit. Is it not love is the first, first, uh, the first, uh, the first fruit of the Spirit in the book of Galatians? Love. It's all the, you know, it's like a chain. The chain now hang on the love. Love is the A point. Praise Master Jesus. So as a bro, as a believer, as love you, Jesus Christ says, you and I, we should love one another. So that people, that the unbeliever, we know that you and I, we are, we are his disciples. Not say I'm a disciple of God, but we are, we are killing each other as a believer hating each other, you know, putting one another down. 
You see your brother in 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 in, the, in your 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 brother or your sisters. You try to put them down. You try to put to 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 bring them down. You see, God is elevating them. All you want to do, you just want to tarnish their image. You just want to tarnish their image. Nobody will like them anymore. Nobody wants to be with them. Nobody wants to hear them anymore. And you think what you are doing. You are doing God favor? No, you are doing Satan favor. You are doing Satan favor. You are working for the Satan. If you and I, we are not working in, we are not work, we are not working in love. We are working for the enemy of, of, of our soul. Love, Father God loves you and I. That is sending his son to pay the price for you and I. Father God, he said, because we have sinned against him. He doesn't want anything to do with you and I. You know, because of the love, he sent his son to pay the price for you and I. As the book of Romans says, if you have time to go, you can go, go and study it for yourself. From, from, from uh, Romans 1 to, to, to system. Holy Spirit, we really open your eye to understand how you and I to live on this earth, live with our neighbors, you no? Know? Live with our neighbor, love each other, know for the, the sin, we renouncing, have faith in God, be, be a blessing to other people, not just me, me, me. You know, we thank God for, 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 the, for the love of God. We thank God for the love of God. Hallelujah. For you and I seeing our weak bro, um, brother, we, see, we talked about the, the, in the 14, that the weak brothers, you see your, your brother or sister that is weak. We should not, we should not put them down laughing at them, make mocking at them, making ingest or ingest of them. No, we should help them. In any way you can able to help them in prayer or you to talk to them, advise them. If you don't want to advise, them, you don't want anything, you don't want to talk to them, go to God in prayer. Bring that your then bring that your that your that your weak brother you, you think that is weak. Bring that your weak brother, that your weak sister. Bring it before God. God is the God that hear a prayer, and God will strengthen that your that your brother that your brothers that your sisters that you think is their weak, because you saw what they are doing. They are not doing the right thing, but they call themselves they are Christian, the children of God. Bring them to God, and God Almighty God, we we answer you or not. So today is the stronger auto to the BNA with the, the weak. No, still talking about the weak for you and I to be for the weak. You know, don't say because this person is weak. I don't want anything to do with this person. You no, know, you know, most of the time, people that are gifted in one in one area is somebody that is gifted. You are gifted in one area, somebody that is not gifted in that area. When you and I working together, you that is gifted in that area, you are faster. Is if you if you are not careful, if if you are not careful, you are you are you are you are quick quick to condemn, quick to over uh, look on that person that is not gifted in that area, you know. Uh, this person cannot do the oh it's so like this it's so like this so you're quick to condemn quick to to to, to judge that person and you have to know that you are so there's somewhere you are not gifted where you are not gifted somebody else is gifted you will be so slow in that place in that area you will be so slow that that one or as well we say ah this person i cannot work with this person you see that is why you are not we must be with one another. We must be with one another. And this person is fast in doing something. This one is not fast. The one that is not the, the one that is fast. Let have, have patience with the one that let that person have patience, exercise patience for that person to grow, for that person to able to come to that to that to that extent to that to that level that he can able to do that thing fast like you are doing it. You know. I know most of the time we don't want to we we don't want to to have that patient. Ah no no no, it's wasting my time. I cannot know. I cannot know. You have to know where you are not gifted. Somebody you want somebody to be to be patient with you. 
You want somebody to be and be and have patience with you to finish what you are doing. If where you are not gifted, somebody that is gifted, you are doing something, that person is condemning you. How do you think you will feel? You will not feel good. You will feel so down, discouraged, isn't it? You will feel so discouraged. Just think about it. If you are doing it to somebody, the same thing that person feels, does it feel good? Let us have patience with one another, help you in one, in one another. The one that weak in one area, let us pray for them. Let us help them out by the grace of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. May the Lord give you and I the grace to help each other. We are one, one body in Christ. Jesus Christ is the head. We are the body. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. So now the 15, we are going to read the 15 by the grace of God. I think uh, the 15 just will go fast for it today by the grace of God. So when we come back by the grace of God, we are going to start from uh, uh, John, the book of John, by the grace of God. So as I've already said, my brothers, my sisters, when you have time, please go, go back to book of Romans. Read it carefully. May the Lord speak to you. May the Lord minister to you. And may the Lord open your eyes of understanding the word of God. As you are reading it, may the Almighty God sow his word in your heart. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So in the book of Romans, let us read the book of Romans 15. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. I read in Jesus' name. So I will, I will read from one to three. We just read it gradually like us by the grace of God. Amen. The book of Romans uh, 15, I read, I read in Jesus' name. One to three. We, we then that are strong out to be in the infirmity of the weak and not to please ourselves. Let every one of us uh, please uh, his uh, neighbor for his uh, good to edification. For, uh, if, for even uh, Christ uh, please uh, not uh, himself, but uh, as uh, it is uh, written, uh, the, reproach, the, re the reproach of uh, them that uh, reproach, uh, reproach uh, them, reproach thee, they fell on uh, me. Praise Master Jesus. You see, it's the same thing that the Apostle Paul is saying here right now. For you and I, we see our weak brother. And if I'm weak, you are the one that is strong. Help me. If I'm weak, if I'm strong, you are weak. I help you. That is what I said. You, see, you know, he, he used the illustration of our lovely Jesus. He says to, it's in a verse three. It's in a verse three. He said, uh, even as a Christ, uh, please uh, not himself. Father, Lord Jesus Christ came here. Lord Jesus Christ came to this earth. He didn't come to please himself. He came to please you and I. He came to do, to, to save you and I. That is why he came here. Not for himself. Not for him to, not for him to get the gain. Not for him to get gain. Not for him to have the mansions, to have everything on this earth. No, no, it's not because of that he came. He came because of you and I. That is what the Apostle Paul say here, that you and I, we should, we should be strong to all, the, you know, to bear infirmity with the weak one, the weak ones in the body of Christ, to help each other in the body of Christ. That is why, that is what the Apostle Paul, the Apostle Paul, the, the, the Apostle Paul is saying here, we must not, uh, we must not just uh, please ourselves. Lord Jesus Christ didn't please himself. Hallelujah. He didn't come here to the. He didn't. He didn't come here to to please himself. Please to please himself. We should help others. That what you and I we should help others. Right to build to build them up. You to build them up in the Lord. You and I we should help each other to build for us to build ourselves up in the Lord. The weak ones, the one that is not not strong, no, no, not strong, not 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 strong in the faith yet. For you and I to build each other up, to help each other, but not pulling each other down. We should not pull each other down, but to help each other to come or to grow in the Lord, to grow in the Lord, to, 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 to build each other up, up, to build them up in the Lord. 
For the Christ Almighty God, Lord Jesus Christ, he didn't please himself. He didn't please himself. We thank God for lovely Jesus. We thank God for lovely Jesus. Let us follow the footsteps for our Lord Jesus Christ. He's our forerunner. Let us look unto him. He didn't please himself when he came here on this earth. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. As the word of the Lord says here. Hallelujah. Then I, I read it again in verse, verse 3. 15 and verse 3. Romans 15, verse 3. He said, For even Christ, even Christ pleased not himself, but it is bought as it is written. The reproach of, of them that reproached reproach thee fell on me. The reproach of them fell on him. Hallelujah. He came to be our, our sins. He came because of you to be our sins. Yeah? We thank God for Jesus. We bless the name of the Lord. So we follow his footsteps. Not pleasing ourselves, but let us please other. Build, us, build, build, build the one that is weak. Let us build them up by the grace of God. Build them up in Christ. And God will reward you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So in verse 4 now, we are going to read 4 to 7. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. 4 to 7. Hallelujah. I read in Jesus' name, the book of Romans 15, 4 to 7. For whatsoever the things that we are written are a fourth time we are written for our learning, that a winner through the patience and the comfort of the scripture might have a hope. Now the God of a patience and a cons consolation a grant to you to be in a like-minded one towards another according to the Christ Jesus, that a ye men with a one mind and a one amount to glorify God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Seven, wherefore they receive ye one another, as a Christ also receive us to the, to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Christ received the word of the Lord telling you, Christ received you or not. To the glory of God. So that means when you and I receive others, we receive our brethren, we receive other people, we receive them for the glory of God. We receive them from the for, for the as a Christ receives you and I to the glory of God. So you and I we receive others to the glory of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. As the verse, as the for, verse 4 says, it's, it's the verse 4 says, for whatsoever things that we are narrating, for time we are narrating for our learning, that we all, the, uh, uh, sorry, that we, through the patience and the comfort of the scripture, might, might have a hope. Now the God of a patience and a consolation I grant you to be a like-minded one towards one and towards another, according to Christ Jesus, towards another. Hallelujah. Having patience, comforting, comfort, do you and I comforting each other, encouraging each other. You see, having patience. With each other, having one mind, as a like like minded one towards another, like minded in Christ, like minded in Christ. No, I have in my own thing that the, the Christ Jesus is not divided. Jesus is one. Hallelujah. So for you and I to help each other, that is the word of the Lord. For you and I to help each other. For you and I to help each other. Father God wants you and I to help each other. Each other. You that know the knowledge of when you that God that gave you the grace to know the knowledge of the scriptures. You know, not all of us that know the, 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 the scriptures that have the knowledge of the scriptures. But some of some of the children of God, they know the, the knowledge of the scriptures, they know. They know about the knowledge, but the attitude, you know, the attitude towards the, the one that doesn't know. It's looking down on them. No, we should not do so. It's by the grace of God you and you know that you have that knowledge. It's God that gave you that knowledge of the scripture that you have. You should not boast with it because you didn't buy it. 
It's God that gifted you, bless you with it. So let it use it to build other people, other Christians, the weak ones up. Encourage them, encourage them. You and I should encourage them because we are walking in this narrow way. We choose, we follow the Father Lord Jesus Christ, accept him as our Lord, our Savior. Praise Master Jesus. As our Lord, our Savior, may the Lord give, give us the grace to hold on to you, to, to hold on to, on, to, on to him to the end. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. To have patience, have patience, having hope, encouragement, to encourage you one another to the, the promise, you know. So the promise, the promises the Almighty God that promised you and I will be full. Will be fulfilled. Will be fulfilled when you and I love one another. Let us have patience with, with one another. Encourage, encourage, you know, encouraging each other, encouraging one another, not bringing us and bringing, as I've already said, and the, the patience, having patience, all that we don't, impatience is not good. Impatience makes you and I to do something that later you, you look at it, you regret. Why did I even do this? Because you were not patient enough. You were not patient enough. I was not patient enough. May the Lord give us the grace of, of the, the grace to be patient, to be patient, to be with one another, to encourage one another, comfort one another. Hallelujah. This is Christian love. Love, we are children of love. Our Father, Almighty God, is love. Hallelujah. His love. Almighty God is love. Excellent that is love. Wonderful that is love. Wonderful. I know some people they have uh, some people they, they have uh, difficulty. Difficulty of, uh, of accepting one another. Some people they find it so difficult to accept one another. If this person is not from, you know, some of them, some of us, we say, ah, this person is not from my tribe. Oh, this person is not from my country. Oh, this person, I don't know this person, but this person is a child of God, like you, you are. Hallelujah. So if you find yourself, it's very difficult for you to accept somebody that is not from your tribe. For somebody that is not from your country, ask God to help you, because that one that, that is not pleasing to God for you to to put it. And this person must come from my my tribe before I can like this person, accept this person. No, it's a child of God. God created that person from His own image, like He did created you from His own image after His likeness. We show each other love, help each other, build each other up. In the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. In the Lord. May the Lord help each and every one of us. May the Lord help us. Hallelujah. To communicate to each other. Hallelujah. So in this. So now we are, we are going to read uh, 8 to. I'm going to read 8 first. 8. Hallelujah. Verse 8. Now I say that uh, now I say that uh, Jesus Christ uh, was a, a minister of uh, the of a circumcision for the truth of God to so, uh, confirm that uh, their promises uh, made unto their fathers, unto their fathers. Lord Jesus Christ, our lovely Jesus, minister, as the word of the Lord says, yeah, Christ was a minister. Jesus Christ was a minister. He ministered to you, he ministered to Ross when he was here on this earth, he was a minister. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We thank God for God. I would like to read all that, all that, all that, all that version concerning the, the verse 8. He said, remember, in, the, in verse 8, remember that Christ and came as a, a servant to the, the Jews. To, to the Jews, uh, to show uh, that uh, God is uh, true to uh, their promises, he made it to uh, their accessories. Praise Master Jesus. Ministers of God, let us look unto Jesus, our forerunner. 
as Lord Jesus loved his disciples. Your, the people Father God put on your, on your care for you to care for them, feed them with his word. Love them. I know at times it's hard. Some of them can be provoking you like know what they did to, to Brahm Moses. They provoke Brahm Moses so much, the people of Israel. But they didn't see how Brahm Moses was so far for them. All they can see to complain about Brahm Moses. All they can see to murmur about Brahm Moses. But all the sacrifice Brahm Moses did to get them out of slavery, slavery. But they didn't see that one. They just saw that and you took us out there to come and kill us in the wilderness. You could took us out there to come and kill us. You took us out there because there is no grave in the, in the, in the, in the Egypt. And then you took us out to come and bury us here in the wilderness. They were not grateful. They were not grateful. You know, some of the churches, some of the members are so, some are not grateful. They just want to provoke you to do something that is not pleasing to God. You just have to, to, to hold yourself. Hold yourself. Remember what Brahm Moses, upon all what they are doing, Brahm Moses see interceding for them. No matter what the congregation is doing, you know they are not doing what is pleasing to God. They are not, you are warning them, but they are not for Still love them. Let Brahm Moses love them, intercede for them. Brahm Moses told Father God, if you want to, if you don't want to forgive them, wipe my name out of the book of life. It's not because they were too good to Brahm Moses. No. They were saying such things that insult the many things they are saying to Brahm Moses. But Brahm Moses still loved them. Brahm Moses still loved them, interceding for them. Father God said that we wipe them out and we make you in. Ah, no, no, no. Brahm Moses said, mm, 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 mm. don't do that. Don't do that. Forgive them. If you have con a congregation that some of them, they're just provoking you for you to, to sin against your Father God, intercede for them. Still love them. Love them. May the Lord give you the grace to do so, minister of God, ministers of God. I don't know the one I'm talking to right now. God is talking to right now. Still love them. Don't still love them. Love them. God will reward you. Trust God to give you to give you grace to overlook what they are doing to you. For not obeying you, not even think that you are their leader, their minister. Don't look at them. Don't look onto, onto what they are doing. Don't just look onto that thing. Look onto Jesus that called you, that anointed you, that chose you to be his minister. He's the one that will reward you. Not the, not the congregation will reward you. Not the people will reward you. Jesus that called you is the one that will reward you. Please hold on to Jesus. Maybe you might be saying you might be saying to yourself right now, I'm fed up with these people. I don't want to, I, I will give up this ministry and this uh, ministry uh, work. I don't want to do, I don't want to be a minister anymore. Please, you shouldn't do so. You shouldn't do so. Don't let the enemy laugh over you. Don't let the enemy rejoice over your, your call, your calling. Please ask God to give you the grace to forgive, to overlook them, pray for them, pray for them. And God will change them. And God will change them. The one that uh, God knows that they, they are not, they don't, they are not, they are not for that, that ministry. God will send them to somewhere else. God will send you, don't, don't worry. You just pray. The one that is not of God that come to bring confusion, bring, bring a distraction in your, in your bring a you no know, discord in that ministry. God will send us to somewhere. Just love them. You will see, they will take their, they will pack their bag and baggage and leave them your ministry. 
God will take them out. Don't hate them. Don't say because of them, you don't want to, to do the work in the, the calling. Almighty God has called you to be a shepherd. Now you don't want to be because what they are doing to you. Minister of God. I don't know any minister of God that is in there and Holy Spirit is speaking to. You shouldn't give up your calling. Please don't do that. You do that, the enemy will be laughing at you. The enemy, the kingdom of darkness, he will start rejoicing, dancing, mocking at you. Don't give them the hand. No, 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 no. Now we help you as May the Lord bless all of us. Amen. So we are seeing the word of the Lord. So the book of Romans 15. We are. So we read, uh, okay, nine now. Nine to, verse nine to 12. I read in Jesus' name. And uh, that and that uh, the Gentiles uh, might uh, glorify God uh, for his uh, mercy. As it is written, for this cause I will confess to thee among the Gentiles and sing unto thy name. And, and again he said, Rejoice, ye Gentiles, with his and the people. And again, praise the Lord, all ye Gentiles, and loud him, all ye the people. 12. And again, Isaiah said, there, there shall be a root of a Jesse, and a he that is sh and a he that is shall rise, and a he that is shall rise is to you to reign over the Gentiles. In a him shall the Gentiles trust. Praise Master Jesus. See the Gentiles. I thank God for the Gentiles. I thank God for you for God. Not just only the, the, the Jewish people. The, the Israelite people right now. Thank God for the Gentile that, you know, is stretching hands out, reach you and I, and pull you and I to himself. We are enjoying right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We thank God for, the, for, for, for Jesus that came and brought us to Father God. Hallelujah. We the Gentiles before. Now we are spiritual and uh, spiritual uh, children of uh, of uh, what is it called uh, Israel, children of Israel. We thank God. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless God. So I would like to read that one in the in the living. I mind this thing here. Another my another um, version. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Another version. New living, uh, new living uh, translation. Let me read in the new living translation. The verse. Um, hallelujah. Mm, 9 to, to 12. Let me read it there. 9 to 12. Okay. He says, uh, he, also came to, he also came so that the, the Gentile might, might give the glory to God for his uh, mercy to them. He also came. Father Lord Jesus Christ came so that the Gentiles might uh, give glory to God for his mercy. Uh, we thank God for the mercy of God. That is what uh, the, 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 the psalmist uh, meant when uh, he wrote. For this, I will uh, praise uh, you among the Gentiles. I will uh, sing uh, praises to your to your name. And uh, in uh, another place, uh, it is written, Rejoice with, with uh, his uh, people, you Gentiles. And uh, yet again, praise the Lord, all you Gentiles. Praise him, all you people of uh, the earth. And, and uh, in another place, Isaiah said, the heir, the heir to David's throne will come, and he will rule over the Gentiles. They will place their hope on him. They will place their hope on him. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We thank God for Jesus. 
We thank God for Jesus that came to the Gentiles, that came for you and I. Reconcile us to G, to reconcile all to Father God for, Father, for the glory of God. We thank God for the mercy of God. We thank God for the mercy of God. We bless his soul in his word. His word, his word, his word. So we are still reading the word of the Lord. So we are going to read that right now from um, 13 to 17. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Now the God of a hope, a a union with a all joy and a peace in, in, in believing. That uh, ye may uh, abound in the hope uh, through uh, the power of uh, the Holy Ghost. I thank God for the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit of God is, a, is, is our teacher. Holy Spirit of God helps you under every moment of the day. We are, you are now, the power of the Holy Ghost that is in you are now, helping you are now. Holy Spirit is helping you are now. Let us continue to rely on him. Holy Spirit of God. Let us continue to rely on him. Verse 14. And I myself also am a persuader of you, my brethren, that ye also are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge, able also to admonish one another. Apostle Paul is telling you by the help of the Holy Spirit, telling you now. So for you and I to admonish one another. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to, 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 to the Lamb of God, the goodness of God, the goodness of God. For, for you and I, as a brother, as a brothers and brothers and sisters, for you and I to help each other, full, is that full of a goodness, to be good to each other, to be good to other people, not just only the one that I know, not just only me and my family, I have to be good to know. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. So in verse, hallelujah. So verse 15. Nevertheless, brethren, I have written the more boldly, boldly unto you in the same self, as in the putting of you in mind because of the grace that is given to me of God. The Apostle Paul is taking, telling you and I as a brethren, that the grace of God, that the grace, the grace God has given to, to him, he has, he, you know, a thank God for Apostle Paul is the love that he loves the children of God that makes him to bear all these things, all the suffer Apostle Paul went through because of the love he had. He had, you know, even though he didn't see you and I, you no, know, but he, in, the, in, the, in, the, in his mind, he have all of us in, the, in his mind. That makes him to bear this kind of uh, though have he have he, ha, he have you in his mind, he have me in his mind. But he didn't know what you you and I would be, but he knows I'm doing this thing, I'm doing this thing. There is generation that we come in that we that we have verse what I'm doing right now. Praise Master G. That is why you are now. So when we are doing something to, to we are doing something in the house of the Lord, or we are doing some one thing and another for in the house of the Lord, do something for somebody. We should not think uh, we're just doing it is a waste. No, it's a seed. When you and I do something good for people, it's a seed. That seed, that seed, it could be that seed could be your, your grandchildren. Maybe it's not my it might be not your children that will reap that seed. It might be your grandchildren, it might be your great-grandchildren that will reap that seed. Because when you and I are sowing right now, it's no most of the it's not you and I reaping it, you know. Our children, our grandchildren will reap it. No, the one that we don't even know. No, they will in the future generation coming, they will reap what you, you and I, the good things you and I are doing right now, the good things you and I, the seed, the good seed that you are sowing right now. It's still that it's vast, vast as well. The one that doing evil, if they don't repent from their evil, their, grand, their children, their grand grandchildren will reap those, those things that they sow. Those say that they saw they were doing that evil. They think they were just doing it for themselves. They were they are the one that no, their children right now repaying those evil, those repercussions, what the, the parents did. Could be the children, it could be the great children, the grand the grandchildren, the great grandchildren. Until those, those, those children or those grandchildren comes to know the, the true word of God, then that cause will be broken. So that cause will be broken. They, they will be separated from because of the, the blood of Jesus Christ. 
But if that person don't know, no, those people don't know God, that cause is still follow that lineage. That evil seed is still follow that lineage. It's good for you and I to so good thing. Even though the people don't appreciate what you are doing, the good thing you are doing, you don't, you shouldn't, don't worry. You are sowing a good seed. Your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren will reap those seeds that you are sowing right now. The, the time Apostle Paul was sowing this seed, he didn't, he didn't see you and I. He didn't see you and I didn't know that you and I come in, but he had you in mind. He had me in mind that this thing will go generation coming. But he saw it with love. He did it with upon all the pain, the pain, the, the beating, upon the suffering the, the, he passed through to get you and I to do, to get you and I the word of God to the Gentiles. You know? Well, let us have one another in our mind to be a blessing, to do good to others, to sow a seed. And that's it we bring. To generation coming, the, the, the new generation, the, the other generation that are coming, we enjoy your good seed, my good seed. Like you and I, we are enjoying the seed, Apostle Paul. So the good seed that is so we are enjoying it right now. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. So he have. He was saying here that he have he have them. Let me read it again. Verse what? Uh, Holy Spirit. Okay, verse fifteen. Said nevertheless, the Roman, the book of uh, Roman fifteen, verse uh, verse fifteen. Nevertheless, nevertheless, a brethren, I have written this more boldly unto you in the same source, as I put in you in mind, putting the the the, the, the brethren, the brothers and sisters, uh, in his mind. Because of uh, the grace that is given to me of God. The grace that is given to him of God. You know, that is why Apostle Paul said in the, in the book, in, in the word of the Lord, said, that Apostle Paul said, the grace that is bestowed on me is not in vain. It was not in vain. The grace that God bestowed on him was not in vain. And that grace that God in, 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 in bestowed on him, you and I, we're enjoying it right now. Hallelujah. We bless the name of God. So the same thing, Father God wants you and I to be, that you and I be a blessing to others. That when we, you and I pass on, the one, our, the generation that coming, we enjoy what you and I, the good seed and do what you and I sow in the Lord, you know? They will enjoy it as well by the grace of God. So if you and I have an opportunity to sow in the, in the vineyard of God, let us do it with all our heart, with joy. With joy. It will bring generation coming, they will, they will, they will reap it. They will thank you, even though you are not uh, on this earth anymore. They will remember, ah, this man of God, or this woman of God, spoke this thing in and spoke this thing so 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 it's written so then they know so say something comes like that no you know at times when you hear the testimony like uh, uh john finn, how they call and uh, finn and all these um the man of god most of them you, i don't remember most of them you 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 hear them the things that they they did you know you say wow you know the, the biography, you read them, you say, wow. May the, may the Lord give us the grace to, to know. So the, 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 our genera the generation coming, they will, they will reap, they will, they will enjoy it as well, the good seed that, that you and I. The leg good, good, you know, to live good legacy. Good legacy for the, our generation, our children coming, our grandchildren, great grandchildren. Good legacy. Even though you are not here, you are not here anymore. That good legacy will continue. Be a blessing to others. Hallelujah. Like Apostle Paul by, by the grace, you and I, we, are thank, we thank God for his life. We thank God for the grace God has given to him. 
was not in vain. The grace of God was not in vain in his life. Hallelujah. May the Lord give you and I the grace. May the Lord help you and I not to waste the grace of God. The grace that he has bestowed on you and I for us not to waste it, for us to use it wisely for his own glory. So hallelujah, hallelujah. So verse, verse 16, that I should have been the minister of a Jesus Christ to the Gentiles. Ministry, the gospel of a God, that uh, the offspring up of, uh, that, that the uh, offering up of uh, the Gentiles might uh, be acceptable, being uh, sanctified by the Holy Ghost, be, being sanctified by the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We thank God for Apostle Paul. We say thank God. So I thank God for him. So in that verse 16, and let me read it again. That verse 16. Hallelujah. It said that I am a I am a special I, I am a special messenger from a Christ Jesus to you, Gentiles. Made, uh, made a holy hallelujah. Yeah, man. Gentiles, okay. I bring uh, you uh, the good uh, news so that uh, I might uh, present you as uh, an uh, acceptable offering to God, made uh, holy by the Holy Spirit. Made holy by the Holy Spirit. That is why you and I, we should not neglect Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is the one that helping you and I. Holy Spirit of God is the one that draws you and I to Father Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit of God that makes you and I to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord, our Savior. It was not because you love Jesus so much, I love Jesus, that makes you just wake up one day, just uh, and I, I, I give my life to know. Holy Spirit is the uh, Holy Spirit of God is the one that draws you to, to Jesus, to love Jesus. To accept Jesus Christ as your Lord, your Savior, it's by the help of the Holy Spirit. We thank God for the Holy Spirit. You see, Apostle Paul acknowledged the Holy Spirit here. Hallelujah. The sanctification by the Holy Spirit. The, sancti the, the sanctifying by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So verse 17, I, verse, verse 17, I have, I, I, I have a therefore, a way of, a, I may ne glory in the true ne Jesus Christ, in a those things which and pertain to God. 18, for I will not, a dear, I will not a dear, to, dear to speak of any of those things which a Christ has not wrought by me to make the Gentiles obedient by word and deed. So Apostle Paul was saying that he is not now, not because he doesn't, not because I, I want people to, to be obedient, that the Gentiles to be obedient, then I have to say what Father God didn't say. You know, most of, you know, most of uh, the ones, most of people they, they said they are they are children of God, they, they are servant of God. What God doesn't tell them because they want more members, they lie. They will lie to get members. You know, what Father God didn't do. What Father God didn't say. Then they will say, Father God, uh, the Lord has spoken. The Lord, so, the, the Lord has spoken to do, 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 do. the Lord has spoken and the Lord didn't, you didn't even see the Lord. You didn't even hear from the Lord. Apostle Paul says, yeah, I, th I thank God for the, for, I thank God for the word of the Lord. It's not, it's uh, not because, uh, because, because I want to make people to know God. Now I have to say what Father God, the Lord Jesus Christ didn't say that I should say. They would not to, 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 to obey that, to, you know, to do my own thing. To gain the, the to gain the what approval of men or to win the say I, the, I want to use lie to win soul to the kingdom of God. Most of the people we call ourselves children of God, we are doing this thing. 
uh, just uh, let me win so for Jesus. But you know the thing you are doing is lying. You you the the, the thing that you are doing, the same some something that you are saying is lie. There's lie mingle with it. So how do you think you win it so for Jesus? Which can so you are not winning so for Jesus. You are doing that work for the enemy, not for the Lord. So Apostle Paul didn't say because I want because of the Gentile, Father God has sent me to the Gentile right now because of that. Let me do what will please them. Let me add no push sugar, no 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 push sugar in the in the in the, the, the word that God in Lord Jesus Christ gave to me. Let me add my own, you know. Let me put no no top it on my own that will make it sweet. No, Apostle Paul didn't say so. Let us read it again in the, in the verse. It is a for we read in Jesus' name. For I for for is that for I will not dare to speak of any of those things which Christ had not or by me. The things that God didn't say he should not say, he will not now say, uh, because I want people to uh, look at me, uh, the, uh, this is man of God, oh, uh, God is using this man, the really, oh, but I have to add what Father Lord Jesus Christ didn't say, what Jesus didn't say that I should say, then I have to go and right now say what he didn't say. No, he said I will not dare speak it. But most of the minister, some or not most, some of the minister, most or some, the ministers of God, they are doing these things. They are doing this thing, adding what Father God did, what Jesus Christ didn't say. The Lord said, the Lord said, the Lord said, whereas it's lie. All those seeds you're saying, the Lord said, that you dear, you, you, you adding your own thing, you adding your own word, you adding your own word, the one that, what Father God didn't say. So, Apostle Paul said, I will not dare do it. I will not dare do it. That is genuine man of God. He fear God. If you are not fear God, it's the same we're supposed to be doing. We don't add. We don't add because we want, the, we, we want to get the people to come to our church. People to come to for, for our um, what is it called uh, our our our, our uh, people to be following us online. Then you lie, and you know that you're lying, and people are following you. And people are supposed to say we don't dare do that. We are children of God. You know, I'm supposed to you and I we should follow Him as they follow Christ. So when we read the word of the Lord like this, let us look unto Apostle Paul, as he said, we should look unto, as saints follow Christ, we should, because Apostle Paul, Apostle Paul follow Christ in holiness, in obedience, total obedience to God, total obedience to Lord Jesus Christ. He said, follow me as I follow Christ. So when you are not following the, uh, Apostle Paul, you see that Apostle Paul follow, all the, uh, follow Christ with obedience, no disobedience. He didn't do his own thing. As he says here, he says here, let me read it away in that for verse 18. In that verse 18, praise Master Jesus. He said, for I will, for I will not dare to speak of any of those things which a cry has not ordered by me to make the Gentiles obedient by word and deed. I will not do it. I rather obey my Jesus. I rather obey God. What Father God tells me is what I will do. I will not say because I want them to obey now, only for him and the gentile to obey, obey the word, the word and the deed. Then I will do my own thing. Speak the thing. Father Lord Jesus Christ didn't say to speak to me to say to the to the people. No, he said I will not yet do it. May the Lord give you an idea, grace to, to keep it so as well. We say what Father God said we should say. We say what is in the word of God. Not to win people, not to win crowd to people, to us, follow us, follow us. Please. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. So in verse 19. Hallelujah. Verse 19. I read in Jesus' name. Through mighty signs and wonders by the power of the Spirit of God, so that from Jerusalem and round about unto Nelly, unto Nelly, come. 
I have a fully uh, preach the gospel of Christ. Twenty, yeah. So I uh, have a uh, I strive to uh, preach the gospel. Not uh, we are in Christ. Uh, we are in the name. Not we are Christ. We are name. Lest uh, I should uh, build upon uh, another man's uh, foundation. I thank God. You know, I thank God for Apostle Paul. You see, Apostle Paul now say, where Father, where, where the gospel has not been preached, has not been heard, that place he will go and preach the gospel to those people. Not the where the, the gospel, not, not the way the gospel have already been preaching. The Christ, they have already received Christ. You know, some of the, the, the ministers, some of some of ministers, they instead of them. To go out there and they whistle and they go to the people, to the what the, the, to the unbeliever to win so to the to the kingdom of God. No, they will go to the church, other ministers' church to come and collecting their members. Collecting their members. Apostle Paul said, No, I will not do that. Where Apostle Paul is going. Is where the gospel, then good news, has, uh, the good news, they haven't received the good news. They haven't heard about the good news of Jesus Christ. He's going there, not the place that already they knew, they heard, and they received, they have served Jesus Christ. Now he coming out to, to collect the, the people there, to bring the open to his own ministry, to carry these people, come and put in his own ministry. Where all believers they are out there. Plenty of believers. How many, how many, how many souls? How many souls that doesn't know God? That you and I, we can go out there and minister to those ones. Let them come to the to, to the knowledge of God. Let them receive God. Not the one that you will go, somebody will invite you, or you go to other churches, you start the, you know, you start sharing your car to the members. So they can leave the, the members and come to your own. No, they can leave their church and come to your church. Come to your own church. Apostle Paul will never do that. Apostle Paul, you see, Apostle Paul, when Apostle Paul left, when uh, I thank God for Apostle Paul, when he came to the Gentiles, you know, he will leave this, this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this country. He go to this country, go to this. Uh, but none, none of all this, in the, none of them heard about the word of God. He's the one that can, comes there and establish churches there. A lot of unbelievers out there. Why should we now start taking other people's members, other the church members, other or the, the, the ministers' members? They labor to God gave them the grace to, to labor to, to the members to be there. Then you will come from nowhere, come and see the members from them. And you just think you will go free. You have to you have to make your restitution. You must make your restitution. And let those people go back to where God called them to. Please don't do that. If you don't need, if you have done it, please repent. Make your restitution. If you want to make heaven, make your restitution. May the Lord bless all of us. So we thank God for God. We bless the name of the Lord. So we are going to stop the here by the help of the Holy Spirit. So we thank God for the book of uh, Romans. So next time we are going to start from um, John by the grace of God, when we come by the grace of God. May the Lord give us the grace to obey his word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen to you, man. Hallelujah. Indeed, we need the grace to obey the word of God. We need the grace to practice the word of God. We need the grace to go out there. The love that you know, we know the suffering in hellfire and we don't want to go there. So let us go and fetch. That is the part that many of us, they don't like to go. They like some, they like easy way. They like somebody to go ahead of them to prepare so that they can come and snatch. 
This is another way of stealing. This is another way of lying. When you say you win the soul, you win soul. Do you know that somebody has never fallen? In heaven is recorded anyway. So whatever you are doing, may the Lord give us the grace to walk, to walk in the word of God with patience. Patience is one of the fruit of the spirit. That the God of patience to always comfort us, you know, console us, to always have patience wherever we are going through, to believe and trust in God. And let the woman of God say, if you go through the, the, the book of Romans from verse 1, all through to this Bible that you, to 15 that you, you just read, you saw there's many things that will make your spirit to grow. There's many things that will make it to, you, you will open your mind. You know more about how to win soul. You know more how to live a holy life. You know more how to run away from sin. So Apostle Paul, we thank God for the life of Apostle Paul. He was not waiting to hear that oh, is a holiness chat that is inviting him. He was going place to place, even if the place is dangerous. He knows that God is with him, to go with him, to protect him. You understand, he was not waiting. He was going to win souls, knowing that the time is at hand. We are the children of God who meet in a comfort zone. If and when you know that they send you somewhere, you know that the, the souls are, are dying, then nobody wants to go there. Nobody wants to go to villages. No one, nobody wants to go to the city that they are killing people because they love their life more than Christ. But Apostle Paul never loved his life more than Christ. He loved Christ more than his life. That even when he was, he was taking all those risks because of the love of God in him that we should not love our life more than God. We should always try to know the will of God into us to see how the souls are perishing. We have that love, that patience. The love is the one that will make you. You don't want your fellow brother that is falling into the pit. You want to rescue him, you know? You want to rescue him, so let us go out there. When you say out there, don't choose the place that, oh, uh, this place that is my comfortable place. Go even the one that you know the Holy Spirit to send you. That's uh, the place that you have never gone. Don't just stay in one place because the, when a fisherman, you know, uh, when Jesus uh, saw Peter, he said, throw the, the net in this place. He said, but you've been doing there. There's nothing happening there. Because he was doing there without the will of God. Because he was doing there without Christ. When you have Christ in you, the very place that you think nothing is happening is the place that you see something is happening. In the place that you see that there's a soul that they need to hear you. Even if God sent you to one place just to win one soul, obedience is better than sacrifice. We should don't just wait to see that oh multitude oh we win twenty people. You see, God was sending the disciples, was sending the disciples, he was sending um the prophet just for one person to one one person, but you take it from far city to go to the far city just to bring the word of God. They never complain. That what do you take in me that is that, that place, there's no any other uh, prophet, there's no any other people, but they was doing it with the love. They was doing it with obedience. It's not everybody that God was sending to go to the city like Jonah. Jonah had the, the grace that God sent him to win the whole city. But let's see the other prophets. Let's see the young prophet. They took him from another city to a strange city that he did not know anybody. He did not know anybody. That's why God sent him that even to drink, do not drink, do not eat, do not go back to the same way that you came because he knew that he was not friend of anybody there. The enemy was waiting to destroy him. Satan was waiting to destroy him. You can see that it was a dangerous place. It was not a safe place for him. That's why God gave him that instruction. And because he disobeyed the instruction of God, you see the consequence that he needed to face, and God was preventing him from falling in that pit. So God can send you in a very dangerous place to go and save soul. He end up saving the soul, 
but he end up losing his own. May the Lord give us the grace as we are preaching the word of God. You should not lie, like the woman of God said. When don't say God said just to please people when God has not spoken. Just say, if it's your mind, you can say, Apostle Paul, when he was talking about his mind, he was making it clear for uh, to us that are reading the word of God now. When Apostle Paul want to talk his mind, he said, this is me now talking. He will tell you that this is own word. It's not the word of God now. It's all mind talking as a man. You will not go and say, when you want to talk your mind, say, this is me talking now. This is the way I think. This is the way I think. Maybe we should do that. We should do that. Don't just everything. Some people, the pride is too much that they so honor their own words that they believe that whatever it comes to their world, to their mouth is coming from God. That we should be very careful. We should be very careful so that you will not deceive ourselves. This apostle Paul said in verse 18, for I will not dare to speak anything, anything of this thing, any of this thing which Christ has not, has not wrought by me to make the gentle obedience by the word and deed. But many people today, you've been lying to people through your own word to say God has spoken when God has not spoken. And you are finding it difficult to do your restitution because of you know you don't want that people to feel bad. You are doing your, your confession, you are confessing, you are asking for forgiveness in secret. Father, forgive me. I lied. That forgiveness is not acceptable. As you deceive people, you need to go and do your restitution publicly. You have to tell them that uh, the other day I told you that God said, it's not, it was my own mind. It was my own mind. Because you can end up saving souls and you yourself will lose your own. That's what Apostle Paul said. God forbid that I will lead people, me, myself, I'll be a castaway. You can be a castaway after serving them, after doing the work of God, after doing successful work of God, you can still be a castaway. God is not the respecter of anybody. To say that I'm familiar to God, God always wants, if Moses cannot see the promised land, the Bible says that if God will not spare his own son, but make him to be crucified for his glory, who are you to challenge God, to say that a God you understand? You are the one, I'm the one to understand the will of God, no God to understand our will. We are nothing when it comes to God. We are nothing. We are nothing. We need to learn how to, to obey the word of God by humble ourselves. People, many people today, they compromise because of people, because of cloud. If I do this, how people say, they will not follow me again. They will think you are compromised. When you have the assignment of God, when you are chosen for God to do something, if God said that you are going to do that thing to the end, I'm not encouraging anybody to do mistake, but the Bible says if you say you have no sin, you deceive yourself. Because all of us will have sin. As a minister of God, you commit, you do mistake, even if them, those mistakes are not visible to people, but it's invisible to God. Don't deceive yourself or because I preach the word of God, then I'm right 100%. I'm no, we are talking about James 2.10 here. We should not deceive ourselves like the Bible said. The ministers of God, the great people, they commit mistake, they made a mistake. King David was a man, according to the heart of God, he made a mistake. So we commit mistake. We should not deceive ourselves to say that oh, I'm so righteous, righteous. The Bible says, let our righteousness exceed the righteousness of Pharisees because the Pharisee was living in double life. They were deceiving themselves by pretending to people, trying to please people rather than God. The Bible says we should please God, God alone, not people. So let us pray that God to give us the grace to obey him, to obey his word. No matter what, no matter the price to pay, because all of us we have to pay the to pay the price anyway. For us to make it to heaven, we must pay the price. There is no any other way. There is not a short way. You must face your Red Sea. You must face the enemies. You must face the giants, which is our flesh, to enter into the promised land. 
We must fight. That's why the Bible says, walk out of salvation. We are living in the battlefield. We are every day when you wake up, you don't know the battle that is waiting for you. From the moment you open, you say, thank God for today. Yes, you have to thank God for the grace that is going to give you on that day to fight the battle that is waiting for you on that day. That's why the Bible is telling us to pray without ceasing because the enemy will never cease to attack, will never cease to fight, will never cease to pull you down, will never cease to try to make you, to take you out of the way. We are going to pray. We are going to say, God, to give us the grace to obey with his word. The same grace that he gave to Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul asked for that grace. The same way you and I, we are going to ask for that grace now. Apostle Paul was a human being like you and I, struggling, striving with sin. He was struggling to live a perfect life. He was struggling to be in the standard of God. Finally, he got to the standard of God. Because it came to a time, even his quotient was bearing in witness that he was not sinning. He was not having a double life. So you and I, Apostle Paul was living in this world where he was fighting the enemy everywhere. He was facing so many challenges. He was facing so many challenges. The woman of God said that Moses was praying for people, but the people were fighting Moses every day. When you do something, oh, Moses, Moses, the day you make a small, when the, the, the thing did not come out the way they were expecting, they will insult Moses. They will mock Moses. They will humiliate Moses. Everything was just bad for Moses. But Moses never stopped interceding for them. He even compromised his own salvation. But when God, Moses was compromised, was, was challenging God about his own salvation, they were not there. It was just God and Moses. That's why we are saying that be careful when you have to fight the ministers of God. Because you don't know these ministers of God, what they are praying, what they are telling God about you. Some of them, they are fasting for their members. They are fasting for you. And you are busy criticizing them. You are busy criticizing them. May the Lord have mercy for those that always look for a mistake in the life of the ministers of God. Those people, they were looking mistake into Moses, but Moses was ready to go to hell because of them. What did Moses profit? He ended up missing the promise of the promised land because of them. Because of them. Which may, may we not miss heaven because of anybody. May the Lord give us the grace. May the Lord give us patience as the ministers of God to love one another, even those that are insulting us. We heard about it. We know that you don't like us, but we still pray for you to make it to heaven. We are still praying for you to repent. May the Lord help us and give us that grace. So let us pray for the grace of God upon our life to stand in the word of God. Let us pray. Father, oh, heavenly Jesus, Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the ancients of the power, that we thank you for your blessing. We pray, oh God, Father, give us the grace of Jesus, Lord, with your love, Lord, 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 to kill the flesh in us, Lord, to be more patient with people, Lord, to love people, Lord, as we love ourselves, Father, to put God always in the in the name of Jesus, that the enemy will not take us out of the way by bringing down the bitterness and pride in us. Father, Lord Jesus, as we need your help, Lord, the same grace to give us for support, Lord, the same grace to win so for your glory, Father, give us that love, Lord, to win so for your glory, Lord, to be in your standard in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, to all Always have patience to look for Father, those that are trying to pull us down, for oh, those that are looking for our downfall, oh, Lord, but give, oh, give us the grace of God to love them, to always intercede oh, for oh, them oh, in the oh, mighty name of Jesus. Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because on that side, we need that grace, oh, Lord, for the same way you give it to Apostle Paul. Father, we are praying for it, oh, Lord, Father, give it to yes, us Lord. also. Give it to oh, us also so that you can be perfect in every area of our life, so that you can be perfect, oh, Lord Jesus, Father, as you said in the 
As you did it to Apostle, for you can do it for us, oh Lord Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord Father, for the word of today that you remind us, oh Lord Father, how to be gracious in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We are going to pray that God to increase and to give us, to fill us with the complete fruit of spirit. In any way that we lack patience, may the Lord give us the patience to bear all affliction that is coming in our way, for us to be more closer to God, for us to trust God more in every situation that we may find ourselves in the name of Jesus. Any fruit that is lacking in us, may the Lord increase it, restore it back to us in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Oh Lord, my heavenly Father, Father, we are asking your mighty God, God to give us the spirit of patience, so many to be patient. Father, patient, oh Lord, Father, Lord, Father, 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 in the name of Jesus, my Father, all the fruit of the Spirit, that is where we Father, restore it back to us, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, my Father, fill us all the in the name of Jesus, my Father, in the name of my Savior, my Redeemer, all the fruit of the Spirit, Father, fill us in the name In the name of Jesus, help us, O Lord, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let us pray for the woman of God that God used to be a blessing that make herself available to the Spirit of God to talk to her. Let us pray that God to restore the anointing upon her life, fresh anointing to continue to preach the word of God. To, in fact, that we are going to ask also the protection of God upon her life because the enemy is not happy when you obey God. We are going to pray for divine protection also upon our life and our family in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, we Lord, my Heavenly Father, I give you the glory, the honor, the praise, O Lord, the glory be unto you. Father, bless our return, O Lord Jesus. 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 Father